Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Benita here from Benita Doodles and today I'm actually going to give you a full-blown, not necessarily a tutorial, but a guide to drawing this zebra with Spectrum Noir illustrators. Now, those of you who are not familiar with the brand Spectrum Noir, they are a brilliant brand for pencils, alcohol markers, ink pads, alcohol reinkers. They've just got a massive range, so make sure you look them up online. I've been on their design team now for a few years and I've watched them grow within their range and I have to say they have the most incredible Japanese nibs. They are also made to be in line with the new tri-blend so the alcohol ink that's actually used in them is a well it's the same formula as the tri-blend so they are just blooming amazing. I wanted to speed it up a little bit for you because it takes a little time to do these generally and you'll be sitting here for an extremely long time but I just wanted to go through with you a little bit about the process really depending on your reference picture the one I had it was actually quite brown quite muted on his nose where the rest of him was very black as you'll see as I go through the tutorial it spins between time lapse and standard time just to help shorten the video a bit for you so you don't get bored too quickly but of course if you have any questions don't hesitate to pop them in the comments below I've been working with these products for an extremely long time now and I'm very familiar with how they work and how you can get some really really great blends with them at the beginning you saw me using blue tack just to roll over the line work just to try and reduce how obviously you can see it so underneath the alcohol markers you won't see the colors used in the project were the brown gray 3 and 6 so that's BG3 BG6 natural brown EB3 muted brown MB1 dark brown EB7 ice gray 2 IG2 blue gray 1 BGR1 and true black I used all of these in this particular drawing uh, because you want to do a certain amount of shading just to give it that little extra edge of realism if that's what you want to do. Now I got this reference picture from Pixabay but you can get any reference you prefer if you just want to have a go. This is really just talking about the methods that I used to get the shading and the colours really correct for my reference. If you haven't already, if you have the products, make sure that you have a colour chart because it's always worth having a colour chart, especially on the paper that you generally use the most. This was done on the Spectrum Noir marker paper, which is actually very, very good quality paper and it holds the markers extremely well and reduces the amount of bleed that you get through the paper. It also reduces the feathering, so the way that it splays out towards, say for example, if you had a circle, depending on how far outwards it grew from that circle so it's actually very very good at holding that feathering down to a minimum because you're going to end up doing a lot of blending the biggest mistake people make is not using a good enough quality paper when they start out with these markers alcohol will saturate your paper if your paper is too thin the alcohol will spread out much quicker and it will spread out further if you have specific marker type paper or at least a smooth surface. Um, I've also used De La Rowney Bristol board in the past. You'll find that it holds your color much better in one place and you'll find that the feathering is much, much less and of course that the bleed is less as well. With regards to the stripes, it's generally a pretty easy process. We just colored in or I just colored in where the color points were. And as I say, I started with the brown to start off with because he was quite, where the sun was clearly hitting him on his face area, it was lighting up his black stripes and you could see that actually there was quite a lot of brown in there. What I'll do is at each stage, I'll come over and talk you through it, but in the meantime, I'll let you watch in peace.
I'm now coming in with the brown grey 3 to really just shade over everything that I have done but rather than go over the entire area you really need to look at where your shadows lie so only apply these greys where you can see the shadows actually falling and that is the process that I go through with most of the greys so just really observe on your picture where you want it to go and don't be afraid to go over any areas that you already have alcohol marker down because you can simply go over the top again with the previous color and just strengthen that color up again when you use alcohol markers and you do light over dark the light will naturally force the dark to become lighter in the area that you've put it on top and that is because the alcohol soaks in and removes that pigment so when you go light over dark it does actually remove some of the pigment underneath so do bear that in mind it's not a massive issue as long as you're not doing very large areas but it is a really nice way of actually doing some subtle blending very similar to if you used the blender pen over the top of any of your areas I'm now going in with the black I would have put down at this stage the brown grey 3 um, I've also put down the muted brown which is what we've done his ears with and we're going in with the black to do his mane um, and just any major shadows that you see throughout the image
apologies for being slightly off camera here um, I'm not actually sure how much of it is off of um, slightly down below the camera view so I am very very sorry but it is generally just going over all the stripes I lost my way a little bit because the stripes generally join up from top to bottom and yeah because I'd done such a good job at removing my line work uh, I actually lost a couple of lines and so you see me going pretty slow here because I'm trying to work out actually what's what. I have done it in the past where I've actually counted them and numbered the stripes literally from one all the way down its back just to make sure that I get them in the right place. Not that I think it particularly matters that much but you know the perfectionist in me wanted it to be correct. Any blending that you need to do here, you probably saw it on the end of his nose. I put some black down on the very end and then I went over again with the dark brown. And I only went over where the black met into the dark brown and that was just really to blend the two colours in together. So saturate the paper enough and you'll get a really, really nice smooth blend between your two colours. Because of the amount that stayed off camera I decided to cut that because it is pretty much me just colouring in the stripes in black so I didn't want to bore you too much but yay here we are I'm finally back on camera honestly between me and my editing skills I am amazed that actually I have any videos on my YouTube at all so we are near enough practically done on the stripes so it's just a case now of getting the shading done and then going over various areas where we need to when we need to get some more of the shadow detail in. So again we're going to be using a mix of the brown greys, the ice greys and yeah just going in with the relevant pen in the relevant area to make sure that you have some nice natural shadows and also not forgetting that you've got that nice contrast and that's what I love about these markers is you don't have to work hugely you know in, in a really really long time you know generally I, I use pencils and the pencils is a very very slow medium to use and it can take a really long time to build up a really really good contrast on your image whereas these it still takes layering just like colored pencils so you know please don't go away thinking that you'll have an image down literally in 20 minutes you know you might do but they do need layering just like any medium whether it's paint coloring pencils you know whatever it might be so yeah just use those colors to get in those shadows make sure your uh, shadows are strong enough or even the highlights are bright enough so you don't want the whole thing to be covered in your various grays that you have Again, just look at your reference picture because your colours may be very different to mine. But I just wanted to show you the process of how I do it. I use both ends of the pens as well. I don't just leave it to the brush nibs where I want just some 
getting in there with the fine detail then I'll just use the smaller end but if I want to do some really big sweeping motions or even some fine hairs I'll use the end of the nib as I say the brush nib is a Japanese brush nib and it's actually a polymer so you can be pretty abusive I don't recommend you do because you love them and they'll love you back but you do get a lot of flexibility with these nibs and they will not fray that's the best thing about them they don't fray I have used mine quite some time now and I've not had a single issue with one of them the ink quality as I say is absolutely superb it's incredibly superior and it really really does contend with the leading brands out there so if you've never given them a go they do come in smaller packs so you don't have to get the massive packs if you're on a tighter budget look at getting the smaller ones so just there you saw me going up and down his nose area I don't actually know what it's called on a zebra um, but the front of his face area there and I just brushed over the entire thing now as I mentioned earlier in the video it will lighten the browns that were on his nose if that's intentional it's not a problem if it's not then I simply go back with the dark brown and just strengthen those colors again that is the joy of these pens is the layering is just so simple and easy We are nearing the end of this tutorial I'm just going to go in and strengthen some of the shadows in there just to make him um, a lot more 3d he's already pretty 3d as it is I just want to strengthen some of the shadows in there and yeah just just make him a little bit more realistic if you have enjoyed today's video I really appreciate you making it to the end I would love a thumbs up and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell button to be notified of when I go live and any new videos. There are quite a few Spectrum Noir marker pens, um, marker videos, apologies, coming up. So if you're really interested in seeing them, hit the bell button and I shall see you guys in the next video.